Welcome everyone to Rules Explained. In this episode, we will be doing a live playthrough of the green awful things from outer space. I'm John Merritt. And I'm Rob Nothing. And let's get started. Uh, let me see, did I share my screen? Yeah, yeah, I did. All right, so that's done. So here we have our game, uh, the awful green things from outer space. I'm gonna be doing the attacking. Rob's gonna be doing the defending. Uh, so in the rules, first thing the defender has to do is place his pieces. Which the game has done a very good job of uh, uh, doing it for us. The pieces are placed according to their logical location. For example, the captain has to be on one of the bridges. There are some options that I could have chosen. I could have placed some crew members in other places, but I wanted to kind of spread them out just a little bit um, just to make sure that I am able to fend off the awful green things. Okay, so let me see. We have our sequence of play here. So the uh, the monster player's turn. That's me. First, I grow. Oh no! First, I need to get set up. Okay, so yes. I I have to roll a d six. One. All right. That means I get six eggs, four babies, two adults. So I get six eggs. Let me move these over. I think that's six. Yeah, three, four, five. Okay, I got six eggs, four babies. That's these things. And two adults. One, two. And I can put these, where do I put these up? Now you have to go ahead and roll oh, a oh, die, yeah. mm -hmm. and it'll tell you which space you start in, and then we go from there. Now I got I got to get that table handy, so I'm just bringing up my rules right now. All right, so I rolled a five, so I start in the saucer bay. Okay. Oh, the saucer bay. Here we go. Yep. So and I take you... one piece and I put it in there. Yep. And then I have to put one piece in an adjacent area, correct? Yep. And you just keep spreading around until you've exhausted all of your thingies. Nope, not, you can't put in anything that's occupied by me. Oh, okay. There you go, yep. Put, oops, he's in the ATM probe control. Put this in the number one sensor. All right. And, Skip this oh, that's right. I can put more in one, can't I? Nope. Okay, so they have to be Not in this each stage. individual. Yep. Okay. So they have been placed. All right, so now that they've been placed, now I do my monster player's turn, right? Nope. Now we have the discovery phase, if I remember correctly. Oh, that's right. That's right. That's right. You're right. So, so you now have to discover I have to me. go ahead and move one or two of my pieces up to their movement allowance until they come into contact with one of these creatures. Now, here's where my strategy comes in, because I probably want to do my best to kill these things right away. So here's what I'm going to do. Remembering that my combat strength is on the bottom left, my constitution is on the bottom right, and my movement is at the top right, I have to decide now what my best chances are. So I'm going to move two crew members on space from the sick bay into here. Now, I can't pick up weapons yet because I don't know that there are bad guys in, in my spaceship. So suddenly, the Marines, the two Marines, walk out in this corridor, and they see an alien egg. So now we go into the combat phase, and I get to go ahead and see if I can kill it. So I'm going to go ahead and roll my four dice to see they if I can kill this. They discovered a young one. I'm sorry, a young one. I thought, you're right, I'm sorry. I thought that was an egg. Young one. So I'm going to go ahead and roll my four dice, which I have to find the dice. Where they go? Oh, they're there. Lower okay, right. so there we are. And I have to score 12 or higher. So here we go, ready? I rolled, uh, ooh, things got kind of crazy. You rolled a 15. 15, there we go. So I Three, did six, kill. Four, two. So I did kill the baby. But oh. now... You feel like everything's ready for the beginning of the game 
that's how the game starts with me okay. walking in there and saying, oh, kill it. My, my Marines take out their clubs or something and smash it to bits. <laughs> okay, so first thing I do is my grow fray, my grow phase. So all the eggs turn into young ones. And you and I came up with a good idea. We, we should flip the pieces over. Well, yeah, there you go. Yeah. And, and place them on the board. And then he's a, oop, that's an adult. Him back. And another young one. Flip him. And then he grows to an adult. And what happens to the adult? He, he grows an lays egg, an doesn't egg. he? Yep. He lays an egg. So he's done. Uh, these guys turn into adults. This guy turns into a youngling. We have another youngling. And another one. And as the viewer can see, the initial strategy of how I discover the aliens becomes very important because now in the immediate growth phase my crew is in Oops. just dire straits with also all these adults and oh no he grew into no, an adult he grew That's into right. an adult yes so that is now the current situation and he's not even done with his turn yet all right now i have my move phase yep so that before six um two, two, boom okay He's going to go one, two. Yeah, he only moves one, but he's going to mutate next turn. This guy moves two. He's going to move into here. Here, I'm going to flip these over so I know who's moved. Mm -hmm. He moves one. Just for simplicity. He moves one. Moves two. Then he's going to move one. He's going to move out of the Ascensor room. Um, okay. We'll do that for now. Uh, I have my attack phase. Um, yeah. I have a. What do they call him? Little baby. A baby. Okay, Young that's one. a good one. Yeah. I, yeah, I have a baby uh, attacking a. But, Machinist, but I just have two dice. And I have a 14 constitution. There is yeah, no so chance for you to do anything, so. None whatsoever. So that's yep. going to be a, a bust. So now we move on to your turn. Now we grab a weapon. Mm -hmm. So the right. crew player's turn is you grab weapons, you move, and attack. So now each one of my crew members that's in a light blue room can go ahead and pick up a weapon uh, that matches the weapons you see here on the side the only exception is i can pick up a fire extinguisher anywhere on the ship so it says if they, yep and there is no reason why i should not pick up any weapons so here on this bridge i gotta find the bridge now okay oh uh second one from the top all right yeah that, that actually you know what i think that's a good idea let's start with the machine shop so i could just go right down the line so machine shop i'm going to take one of the welding torches and the weapons are finite by the way Oops. Yeah, i'm going to give it to the i'm going to give it to you <laughs> the youngling will take it <laughs> yeah so there we go so the he now is equipped with a welding torch he can only have one weapon at a time okay and i'm going to go now to the either bridge so either bridge i can pick up a stun pistol so i'm going to go ahead and give this to that guy and i'm going to give the other stun pistol to this guy okay in the other bridge yep the fuel pods nobody's in the fuel pods damage control center nobody's in the damage control center sensors nobody's in the sensor oh wait i'm sorry oh, wait technician. one person yep got one person so i'm gonna go ahead and grab i'm gonna grab the comm beamer oh man not gonna, the comm beamer the comm beamer exactly <laughs> sounds like something out of the cold war you commie um, 
Damage control center. Nobody. Oh, sensors. That was already there. S a sick bay. I have one guy left in the sick bay. It is the doctor. He's Maybe going to get a, a hypodermic needle. And by the way, this is where you find out the disadvantage of just charging my Marines out there. They cannot pick up a weapon at this point. Oh, so okay? they have to be in a, in a blue room in order to pick up the weapon. Unless I give them a fire extinguisher, which would be a very interesting thing for Marines to have. That'd be hilarious. Okay. In the pool room, do I have anybody in the pool room? I, oh, yes, I do. So I can go ahead and take a pool stick. Which looks like a bat. Yep. And I'm going to get another guy who's going to have the other pool stick. Okay. In the mess deck, and this is the only thing that's going to take a long time because obviously every crew member, he's going to pick a, up a can of something. And I'm not even going to try to pronounce that name. Uh, Zrigwats, I think, maybe. And yes, my Marines are going to pick up fire extinguishers. I can pick up two. <laughs> and they're going to go ahead and say, oh, man, there's there's creatures on here. Dude, let's get the fire extinguisher. Sorry for the really bad let's accent. Smash them with it. Okay. Um, I can also pick up stun nets anywhere. I'm sorry, electric fences. That's what they're called. So the wardroom, I'm going to get electric fence. And then... Let's see here. Science lab. Oops, I'm having trouble here getting over there. Hang on. There we go. Science lab. Do I have anybody in the science lab? Nope. Oh, uh, the science lab is empty. Yep, galley. They're going to get a knife. All right, so now that is he the equipment that. phase. I got all my equipment that I can possibly get. Oh, wait, I'm sorry. Machine shop. I realize Crabs I have a welding one torch. Yep, there we go. Now I have everything. So now it is the next phase. Okay, the next phase is to move. All right. So now I have to move and try to combat the alien menace. So my Marines are going to move in to the next area here. Okay? So my Marines with their fire extinguisher. Actually, you got to remind me, how can I pick up two things at once? Um, if you grab one of them, oh, put it go. on top. Oh, yeah. If you grab and hold. Hmm. Or select both of them. Uh, you should be able to stack them. There, there it go. goes. All right. So these guys are moving there with their movement allowance. And the doctor is going to move in there also. Doctor has a four movement allowance, so he can move it in there very easy. Mm -hmm. And let's see what's going to happen next. The robot is the most deadly creature for you on this ship. And he's going to go and go one space at a time. That's his only disadvantage. You can only move one space. Yeah, he has a constitution yeah. of 44. Yes. Very difficult to kill. This engineer is going to go one and two to go ahead and weapon the fuel pod next turn. Um, I got a lot of guys to move, don't I? They're going to move here. Into the hallway. Yep. Um, he's going to go one and two. Oh, I can't. There's somebody in there. Hmm. I will have to stop there and fight that guy. Okay, so you can't go through a room if there's an enemy in it. Right. I think I can leave a room, but I can't go through a room. Are you sure about that? I'm... I, you know what? That's a good point. While I'm moving, if you want to go ahead and double check the uh, the rules on that. Uh, One, replacement. two, three. All crew have a movement allowance printed in the upper right you near know, the corner. The movement allowance is a number of adjacent areas connected by an open passageway or hatchway that the crew member may enter on a, on a given turn. Uh, as move, blah, blah, blah. The player may move some or all or none of the, of the crew each turn. They are not required to move their full movement allowance and must stop when they enter an area containing monsters. Okay, so no, you, you are absolutely correct. So if it, is, if it enters an area in which there is an alien presence, they have to stop. That includes me as well. Yes. All right, I think I moved everybody. I'm a little confused, but I think I got everybody moved that I want to move. 
Oh, wait, I'm sorry. I got one last group of crew members up here. They're all the going to join search. this big pile. <laughs> there you the go. Mob. The mob, the mob is yeah. coming for you. Yeah, there you go. Right. I'm, you know, so, I'm surprised they didn't add in like fire and, you know, uh, torches and pitchforks as a weapon. That would have been hilarious. That would have been cool. Maybe forks. Forks would have been good. Okay, so the movement is done. Now yeah. attacking starts. All right, I'm just going to go from the bow of the ship towards the stern just to go and make this easy. I have the pilot there who has a one combat strength. I don't think I want to attack with him because there's no way he's going to roll a 16 or more. Actually, these two guys are pretty useless there. That may have been a dumb move on my part because they only get two dice together and there's no way they're going to go ahead and affect that adult. So they're pretty much toast. I'm just going to have to leave them there. All right. Down here, I have no chance once again because he... Oh, wait. Is he carrying a weapon? No, he's not. So make a long story short, he can't right, attack so, and hurt you either in the egg. You've got one die versus my 12 constitution. Right. So that was not going to be useful. Here, however, I have a guy with a welding torch, and he's now going to attack this adult. So now I have to go ahead and figure out what kind of effect this weapon is going to have. So I take one shit. Oh, wait. Yeah, uh, click and drag, but don't hold. Oh, click and drag, but don't hold. Mm -hmm. There it goes. Oh, there you go. So now, this is the no permanent effect. effect. <laughs> no. <laughs> no, the welding torch. So I have to go down here to the welding torch, which is, I got to find it real quick. There it is. So I put this right there. And from the, for the whole game, the welding torch has no effect. I can never change that. So that's a useless weapon. So we so found out I that just, the aliens are immune to fire. That is correct. Or at least fire from a welding torch. Yeah. All right. So that took care of that. Well, let's now figure out what I can do now for my attacks with the container of Zerg Watts and the fire extinguisher. So now I have to go ahead and pick both at the same time. So there's one. Oh, you're kidding me. The Zerg Watts has no effect either. Wow. Well, at least I'm getting these out of the way. This is not a bad thing to have happen. OK, so now I have to find out where the Zerg Watts came from. I forgot where the Zerg Watts came from. Probably the uh, galley, I guess. Right, yeah, right there. there. Mm -hmm. Okay, so that has no effect. But what about the what about the fire extinguishers? Five dice to kill. Wow, that's good. That's very good. I'm going to go ahead and take you out at this point. You're going no, to it's not. That's awful. Yes. So now <laughs> I have two <laughs> marines with two We're fire okay. extinguishers. I get ten dice to go ahead and squash my good friend, the adult creature there. Okay? So, I gotta get 10 dice here. Add oh, dice. Uh, do a, a right click on a die and select, uh, I think it's duplicate. Hmm. So if you select one of the die, do a right click, oh, I'm sorry, and select clone. Oh, there you go, clone, there you are. Oh, geez, and, I just cloned the board. <laughs> I, don't know. I don't know what i just did hold on hold on i got it get rid of the board john i have no idea okay i clicked on the board accidentally here's clone of one two three. there we go there there you go all right is that 10 i don't know all right let's well let's roll this here you got uh that's oops that's one two three four five six seven eight nine nine die well, I rolled a 33. Squashed well, one adult. Yep, it was close. So I killed one adult. Now, mind you, that was pretty foolish strategy on my part. I probably should have split my attacks up between two different adults. But hey, we'll have to see how that works for everybody. OK, so now I have another attack down here. I have a calm flamer. Um, so I'm going to go and use the calm I'm sorry, Com Beamer. Beamer. Beg your pardon. <laughs> Com Beamer. I'm going to use that. And its effect is, what does it say? Uh, one die fragment. Oh, no. That's bad. So let me go to the Com Beamer now. Com Beamer is near the sensors. There we are. What that means is I have to roll a D6, and you get that many fragments. Fragments turn into babies. 
which then of course grows. So if I get a really high roll on this, I'm in deep trouble. So when I shot at this thing, the comm beamer just shattered you into a bunch of pieces. Wow. Oh, one piece. So you get to get one fragment. I got lucky on that. Let's see, you want me to reroll? You know what? No, let me reroll that. Hang on. Yeah. There, there you go. go. Two. Oh, two. Okay. So you get two fragments next to, yep, next to that egg. Okay. So you. So, that's bad. Shoot it so with the comm beamer. It explodes, and two little fragments go flying out under the walls, and it begins to grow. Exactly. I so lose. I have I have discovered the three worst things you can do. I can have no effect for my weapons and make fragments. So I'm just going to toss these weapons for the entire game. There's no chance of me having anything else in this version of the game. So these weapons are useless. I'm just going to throw them away and declutter the board on my next opportunity. Okay, so my turn is, first thing I do is I grow. Yes. So I have a baby that turns to an adult. I'm toast. Uh, Look what's going to happen now. Look what the viewers are going to watch. They're going to see this humongous number of, of, yeah, you get babies now everywhere. I get adults. This adult spawns an egg. He turns into an adult, and you turn into an adult. Oops, gotcha. You spawn an egg. That egg spawns, it turns into a little one. Oop. You go over there. This egg turns, in, or that young wing turns into an adult. This guy spawns an egg. Yeah, look how show much trouble I'm in. And he turns into an adult. And these two splats grow into younglings. Grow into actually, eggs, all three actually. of those are going to grow. Into, yeah, all three of those are going to grow into younglings. No, th th these grow into eggs, don't they? Nope. I thought nope. fragments turned into eggs. I'm going to double check that, but I'm pretty sure I they grow into younglings. Let me just go ahead and double check that though. Right. I've been known right. to be wrong once in a while. But you were mistaken. <laughs> All right, so grow. These two haven't touched. I mean, uh, yeah, I think the... Fragments or eggs babies. grow into babies. Oh, all right. Yep. Get rid of them. All right. I think that's it. All right. So as the viewer can see, the aliens have spawned in a serious way. I made a huge mistake in my response. I should have split my attacks. But the only right. saving grace I have is my robot is going to start mowing these things down fairly quickly. And okay, so I'm not going to go ahead and suggest strategy here, but that robot will just basically make life miserable Peak. very quickly. Uh all right, so that's my grow phase. Now I have my move phase. He gets, I don't know what you want to do. This guy's going to move up here. Oops, there we go. So he moved. He's going to stay there? Yeah, he's going to stay there. Actually, he's going to move in over to here. Yeah, this is going to become a, a slime bath here in a second now. Uh, the guy in the damage control room is going to move to the hallway. That adult's going to stay there. This adult's going to move into the hallway. He's going to move into the hallway. These babies are going to stay and done. Okay, moving okay. phase done. Oops. All right, that's all flipped over. Now I have my attack phase, so like I say, yep. I'll start at the front of the ship. Um, I have four dice going into your pilot. No. I have a chance here. He has a pretty high constitution. I don't know. Nine. I, no. I have a 15 constitution, I think, don't I? Yep, 15. So he pounds up on him, and he lives. Now, pilot just gives you the on finger. The other hand. Ah, that's finger. <laughs> so he's in there. 
All right, now I, we've got three adults and an egg. So they egg pick can up the attack. Egg yep. And they th th throw it at the machine. So I have uh, 12 dice that I'm rolling. Yeah, this is going to be trouble. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Nine, ten, eleven. At 12. this point, if, yeah, if you just want it, yeah, there you go. Perfect. Let me get these selected. That's a lot. Forty. Kill them. <laughs> so yeah, um, <laughs> definitely gone. And so the machinist is now dead. And remember, the crew has, is finite. The aliens are infinite. But the only thing that limits them is the fact that they have a limit for the counters. So in other words, once he goes through all these counters, he can't have any more of that particular one. I was just moving it off the board because I didn't want to look at it because I'm so mad that it's useless. Oh, <laughs> here, <sister. laughs> yeah, get it off the go. table. Throw yeah, it off the sister. table, it's useless. Get it off the table, get off. All right. Um, all right, so he attacked, they attacked. Uh, Did you want to attack three. down here with the machine shop? You got four yes. dice versus a 12, it looks like. Oh, that's going to be a close one. Okay, so I have my four die. Roll. Look at you using your slide. 16. Ouch. Yeah, I'm in trouble. Out. And you want to uh, attack the doctor here? Yep, got the, the doctor. doctor. Got eight dice. Yep, I have an 18, it looks like, don't I? Yeah. Three, four, got my eight die. Uh-oh. Huh. 33. Wow. And the Just can. dying by the bucket full here. Actually, that wasn't the doctor. That was the coxswain. And now this just stays right there, if I remember correctly. So that can be picked up later on as a weapon. Oh, can it? Well, here, let me go to the can. The can of, let's see, rocket fuel. Oh, the can of Zygmorts has no effect. Warts. I'm just throwing that away. Yeah. The canister of Zygmorts affects only yeah. one monster per turn and must be thrown at a monster under attack. And it's oh, used as we at already... the monster. Right. Yeah. It may be used in the same area as the crew member who is carrying it, or it may be tossed into an adjacent area. The ruthless capital. Hmm. That's all it says. That's it. Okay. Um, now when we move into the hallway, yep. I have four, four die. Going but against you your have, dock. There's like three of them. Oh, no, I'm sorry. There's two. Oh, there's two? Okay. So you I'm can sorry. No, no, I think you're right. Want. It's No, no, it's three. You're right. Yeah. All right, so. You have two Marines with fire extinguishers and a doctor with a syringe. <laughs> <laughs> well, the fire extinguishers are pretty deadly. So I'm going to yes. go after. I'm going to do all four. All three stacks, Whoa. all three creatures against your marine. So that would give me 12 dice. Yeah. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. 10, 11, 12. All right. And we're going to go toss them in the air. 42. Oh, okay. Don't, don't read that. Dead. Now, I can That's, pick up that fire extinguisher later on if I want. Now, I thought the fire, fire extinguisher goes back to its room, doesn't it? Well, technically, you're right. Oh, wait, that's right. That would mean, well, because the fire extinguisher can be picked up anywhere. But you're right. I should just go ahead and follow. Wait, where the fire extinguisher go? You got it. Oh, there it is. The so fire extinguisher goes back here. But fortunately, I can find one anywhere. This fire extinguisher is still being carried by the other Marine who's still alive, and I lost the Marine. Uh, he's down oh, in there, he is. there, there you is. go. And then you're right, I forgot about that. So where is that? Oh, that other weapon I tossed out is useless because <laughs> it had back. Yeah, so we're good. <laughs> All right, and then the babies are piling up on the technician. <laughs> so we got six die. One, three, four, five. Six. Twenty-two. Jeez, I'm being massacred here. Yeah, I, I have to say, in this game, or at least that opening gambit move is huge. Yes. 
And it looks like this game really plays heavily to the attacking force. It does it appear that way. It does appear that way. All right, uh, that's my attacking. Uh, that's it for me. So now you have your grab weapons phase. All right, grab weapon phase. The uh, doctor is going to go ahead and drop the hypodermic, so that goes back into sick bay. Kind of magically, it's rematerialized back there by some sort of fabricator. And the doctor is going to pick up, you can drop it as a free action if I remember. He's going to pick up a fire extinguisher now that we know how good those things are. Ooh, yeah, and, yeah. oops, we're going to, oops. Oh, God. We're going to stay in this area here for now because this is the grabbing weapon phase. Um, we already know that the welding torch is useless. Uh, there's no weapon there. These guys, oh, I have another fire extinguisher. No, no, I don't. Fire extinguishers are gone. So, ouch, I'm in deep trouble here. Yep, nobody's in a room with weapons. Oh, wait, I'm sorry, fuel pod. I get to go ahead and pick up one of the fuel canisters. Fuel canisters are dangerous because if I use them in an area with my own crew member, I have to roll to kill my own crew member. So I gotta be very careful with fuel canisters. Let me see. Rocket fuel, is that what it is? Yep. Okay. So was I have fuel to... canister or was that rocket fuel? It is the let me see if I can read the exact title here. I apologize to all the people listening that my eyes are not as good as they used to be. Fuel it says, pods. Can, that's, that's, can of rocket fuel. That is what its technical okay. name is. An exploding can of rocket fuel affects all creatures in the areas covered by the blast. The blast is only stoppable, stopped by hatches. Thus, a can of fuel that goes off into a passageway affects all creatures, including crew, in, the passage, uh, in that passageway. Rocket fuel does five dice to kill against crew. It is best tossed through a hatch into an adjacent area, but may be ignited in the same area as a crew member. Only the robot can expect to live through this. That's what it yeah. says. All right, so I picked up my weapons. Now it's moving, right. right? Move, yep. All right, so this is going to be interesting. I got to get these guys to find some weaponry. So one... Two. Huh. One, two, and here comes the robot. It's going to go ahead and make your guys feel sorry they ever came onto my ship. Eek. Yeah, he's tough. He's he is tough. going to go find a weapon in the science lab so he can move two. Well, he, yeah, because he had the welding torch. And as we know, the welding torch is useless. So he just drops and he goes one, two into the science lab. Okay, so he drops torch. it so it goes back into the pile. Yeah, but you know what? I don't want to confuse myself. I'm just tossing the ones that are ineffective off to the side. <laughs> okay, Get him and off the table. this medic is going to get a syringe next turn. And he's there. And all these guys are going to go ahead and move into here. We're going to have one big melee, sir. Back. Here we go. One big melee. Let's just remember that these guys are all in that same hallway. Okay. And then he's going to move his two. One, two. Oops, I forgot to take the canister. Are they in the hallway with the robot? Yep. Okay. We got one big melee going on right there. And the little mascot is going to go one, two, three, four. In the ship's store there. And then these guys are all going to go in here and try to squash that life form. And then I forgot the exact name. Do I drop the fence somewhere before? I move or after I move? Because, yeah, I got a stun fence there. Or electric fence is what it's called. Uh, the Let electric me see fence. Here. Let's see electric here. Electric fence. Uh, An electric fence affects all monsters who move into or remain in the area containing the fence. Monsters must stop when entering an area with a fence. After, after monster movement is complete, 
but before any attacks are resolved, a weapon effects chit is drawn is drawn for the fence and applied to all monsters in that area. Any surviving monsters may leave the area on their next turn. Crew members are not adversely affected by the fence, but must also stop movement when entering an area containing one. Yep. They may leave the uh, they may leave at their full movement rate on the next turn. Uh, the crew member who constructs the fence may not move may not move or attack on that on the turn that the fence is being set up. To dismantle the a fence, it happens. A crew member must begin its turn in the same area of the fence to be dismantled. That's what it says. Yep, I have to stay I have to stay stationary and I cannot attack this up a fence. But the fence is very nice because first off, it stops you from moving, even if it has no effect. And if it does have effect, it's gonna be very dangerous for you. On the other hand, if I get the result that says splits into fragments, you're gonna to want to charge <laughs> that thing every time. Just yeah, throw you yourself at it. All right, exactly. All right, so I've done moving. Now it's my attack phase. So I have nothing here, nothing here, but now I have this. He can't attack because he's going to go ahead and try to use the fence next turn. But I have a stun pistol and, and knife. a knife. So, and then I have this guy right here. So I'm going to go ahead and first find out the effect of the stun pistol. Oh, you made first Five, Five dice, dice to, to stun. stun. What do you know? The stun pistol stuns. How stunning. Yeah. Yeah, I know. That's pretty funny, wasn't it? That right, was so funny. here we go. Stun pistol. Five dice to stun. Um, now I need to figure out what the knife does to the life forms. What does it say here? Uh, one oh, die no, fragments. no, no. I hate fragments. Where's the knife? Second one from the bottom. There it is. So, oh, uh, crap. All right. So hang on a second. And that's it. So now, if you go to the rule book, it actually is very good about this. It tells you the order of precedence when you're using multiple weapons at once. The first thing that happens is grow, shrink is second, dice to kill is third, fragments is next. So the first thing we have to do is, is uh, see if I go ahead and kill one of your creatures first, because... I have a guy in here with no weapon. He has two dice combat ability. He's going to try to squash the baby. I know it's a long shot, but what the heck? All he needs is 12 or more. Okay? He's going to try to do it. So that comes first. Here we go. Roll. Come on, get the 12. Boxcars. No. no so nothing no, happens. Six. Now I have to roll for fragments. So we're going to move just one die. No, one die. No, stop it. There you go. We're going to roll one die and hope that I don't get a bad roll. Three. All right. You get three fragments right there in that space. Now, I'll tell you this much. As far as I'm concerned, the one limiting factor of this game is space. Everything gets really piled up real fast. Nope, that's in the next uh, quarter over. Yep, there you go. All right. Now... I'm going to stun. I'm going to go ahead and try to stun. Yep. I'm going to go ahead and try to stun the baby. So right. what is it? You need five dice to stun, right? Yep. So five dice to stun. Okay. I have four. I have five. Okay. So now I'm going to roll the... Whoa, 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 whoa. Um, All right, hang on a Love. second. I'm having trouble. Okay, there we go. I was just having some trouble with the interface. Now I'm going to roll my five dice. And I have scored a 16. I have successfully stunned that beastie. So that beastie is not going to move or attack next turn, that baby. Yep, you can flip right. it over. Oh. Yep. All right, so that is all I can attack now in that corridor. Now in the next corridor, I have an entire army. Okay, so I have the robot and I have the I have a whole bunch of dice to kill here. 
from all sorts of weapons and systems. Okay, I'm going to attack um, each of the adults separately. All right, I have three. Uh, of them. One, one, yeah, one flame. I'm sorry, one, um, one fire extinguisher on each, and the robot on one. And then, wow, what a mess. The guy here with the pool cube, I got to get him out of the way now. This is going to be kind of crazy. This is, like I said, this is the only limiting factor of the game because now I got to move all sorts of things out of the way. To go ahead and figure out what I got going here. So I've got one guy here with a pool cube. I got to figure out its effects. Four dice to kill. So pool, di pool cubes are dangerous to your life forms. <laughs> But welding torches, no, do nothing. <laughs> Apparently, completely useless. All right, and I know what the stun pistol does already, and I just got crew members with hand-to-hand -hand capability. So this is going to get really kind of interesting. I got to move some people around here. So here's what we're going to do. Um, the robot with the yeoman are going to combine their five dice together and try to kill this top creature. Okay. So let's see if I'm able to kill you with those two guys together. Oh, I think 20. So. I did kill that top creature. Yep, so it's gone. So now the Marine, with its five dice to kill, I'm not even going to bother to try to go ahead and team him up with somebody. He's just going to go ahead and waste the other one, I hope. Okay, so here we go. Uh, yep, 18. So I wasted the next one with my trusty fire extinguisher. I'm feeling a little bit better now. I have another fire extinguisher. Uh, I'm not feeling as confident this time. So uh, the pilot is actually going to combine um, his attacks. The pilot has the pool cue, which has four dice to kill. Am I correct? Is that what I read? Uh, yes, four dice to kill. So I have nine dice. I'm just going to roll these five dice. If I need to roll more, I will. Nope, I don't need to roll more. I just got the exact number, and obviously one more dice will push me over the edge. So that guy is dead. And what leaves me with here now is I got Sparks with a stunner, and I have the Sarge with a pull stick. So I don't even want to use a stunner. I just want to kill that egg. I got five dice to go ahead and kill. I'm sorry. Where, yeah, it's five dice, right? Yeah. Yep. So I guess there's a, a slight chance. Well, okay, which is interesting because if you roll five once, which is the probability it's next to you know, none, is it meet or exceeds, or do you have to exceed it? I believe I have to exceed. Okay. But I rolled so, like a 20 or something. So. Yeah. Yes. So that makes me feel a lot better. I thought I was in deep trouble here, but with a little bit of luck and some strategy, I was able to go ahead and rid that entire corridor of that complete infestation. Okay. Well, well, tides are about to turn. I think they are, but let me go ahead and put everybody in this corridor because that's where they all are. Oh, I got to take sparks and the stun pistol. And then the yeoman. So they are all in there. In the hallway. And okay. we have no other combats because we already resolved the combat there. So my turn is over. All right. I start with the grow phase. Yep. So this egg grows into a baby. Flip over the baby, put the egg back. The adult lays an egg. Boop. Uh, oh, my oh, gosh. Mercy. Oh yeah, my no gosh, kidding. the eggs are going to get this turn. <laughs> Holy crap. Why is, why is he upside down? Because he's stunned. Oh, that's right. Okay, so he's unstunned now. Right? No, no, he, not, yeah, he just can't move. the end of the turn. Okay, so well, in the grow phase, so does the stunned creature grow? I No, they don't. Okay, I'm going to so double check that, but I'm pretty sure they do not. That's one of the advantages of stunning is that they just they get out right, of right. the game. I'm going to check that while you keep moving around here. So and i got growing. three eggs, and this egg... Turns into a youngling. So this hallway is done. A stunned piece may not grow, move, or attack on its next turn. All right. And this fragment 
What do I got? Three fragments? Two. I think you have two. Three. Oh, well, three. Okay. These turn into young ones. Yep. Put the fragments back. Now we have an adult who lays an egg because all adults lay eggs. These two adults lay eggs. This egg turns into a young one. Notice you just ran out of young ones. Yep. So if you had any well, more eggs that were growing, they would not be able to grow this turn. But unfortunately for me, all you have left is young ones who can now turn into adults. All right, so you're right. I'm in trouble again. I thought I was gonna do all right, but suddenly now there's a mess. Remember one yeah, of those, one of those yeah, babies is stunned. So turn one of the babies back over. <clears throat> oh, you know what? It was this guy. Yeah, there you go. Now all you have right. the movement. <clears throat> he gets. I know. The only bad thing about this game is is the, the piles and piles of counters. They are not moving. They're in fact moving into here. Okay. <laughs> um, this guy's going to make his way to damage control. This adult is moving into the crew quarter. Yeah. I'm going to go from the scout bay into the quarters, and that's it for my movement. So now we have the attack phase. Interesting strategy. So I have three guys in the hallway. Mm -hmm. What do I have in there? A cook? And what else? With a 21 constitution. That's a hell of a cook, man. Yes, he is. He's <laughs> never using that knife again, though, that's for sure. Matter right. of fact, I'm dumping that knife right now. I don't even want that knife anywhere near me. Two of them. also does fragments. Let's see, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. An interesting four, strategy. Four. You might want to go after the supply officer because he has a net, which could be problematic. Well, for now, he's going to go after the cook. Okay. 34. Well, it looks like so, the cook has, you know, gone off to that big pot in the sky, which made no sense, but that's okay. Right. Uh, and I still have one one more adult. Mm -hmm. uh, that'd be a maximum of 24. He's going to go after the first officer. Okay. 19. I need to know. I need to roll real well. Uh -huh. 12 didn't do it no nope. so there's a big happening in the hallway that kind of dies out this hallway is cleared um done and let me see the two that moved into the cruise quarters there's no crew in there so that ends my attack phase all right so now we move so into before your we move phase. on to the next phase mm-hmm all right, well, now technically it's my move phase. And actually, technically, it's my pick up weapon phase, then it's going to be my move phase. But I think right. the audience is, is, is kind of understanding where this game is going. Uh, I love the ebb and flow here. If, if you really think about it, just when I thought, oh my gosh, I'm going to be okay, the green slime just goes everywhere. And now Pin I have it. <laughs> yes, I'm, I'm overwhelmed once again. My only saving grace is I have quite a bit of force now in that corridor. Which is going to be interesting. It's, I'm gonna, it will be very interesting to see how the green slime player takes it. And I think I see your stat strategy, John. You're holding back and just allowing eggs to be hatched. You're allowing eggs to be laid. You're trying to build up a significant force for that final assault. That's mm -hmm. a great strategy. I love what you're doing. But I Aim think you know, we have another hour worth of gameplay here before oh, at we least. Can go ahead. Yeah. It is fun, though. But uh, with that, I think we're going to call it for this episode. I uh, want to thank Ethan for the music. He always does a fantastic job. 
Uh, you can find us on Apple Podcasts, Spotify Podcasts. Uh, we're now on TuneIn. Uh, so we've had some people jump in on that, which I think is really cool. Guys, um, I'm John Merritt. I'm Rob Nothing. Guys, thank you for listening. Adios.